Welcome back to some more Office Trivia. It is Jeopardy Tuesday. Possibly the best day of the week, some are saying. This is a YouTube exclusive. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. We have Nick, Jamo, and Michael Steen, new <laughs> yep. guy here with us today. Uh, last time, we had a Drake-themed trivia when I hosted. I thought the music topic kind of hit, so I kept it along the same lines. And this time, we have Jay-Z. Uh, Hova. Yep. First round of categories, Young Forever, Friend or Foe, Dead Presidents, <laughs> and 99 Problems. All right, we all got our buzzers. We're all dialed in. Locked and loaded, baby. Imagine Feeling even, good? Imagine even asking that. <laughs> it was rhetorical. <laughs> All right, Mike, you're the new guy. So I'm going to let you rip what category first. Let's start off with uh, Dead Presidents 200, please. Dead Presidents for 200. Here we go. After acquiring him for two first rounders, a third rounder, and a sixth rounder. Five. Khalil Mack. Oh, nice. Khalil Mack is so the correct nice. answer. Nice. Well played, JMO. I, I cannot read that fast. That was, that was good. Uh, it's trouble, early. It's <laughs> early. If you can't read fast, you're out. That was good. No, I had I'm it. Just up. replacing gut at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was about to dial in on Roquan Smith. That was dead presidents for two hundred. What the Ooh, hell? I like that. What the hell? Good idea. Just a little. Just I got a little bored. You know, want to put a little art. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. JMO up two hundred. JMO pick the next square. I want to see the rest of the hat. Friend or foe for two hundred. Friend or foe for two hundred. Here we go. After spending the first six seasons of his career with the Philadelphia Eagles, the big play wide receiver signed at five. Deshaun Jackson? It is Deshaun nice. Jackson. That is correct for 200. Nice. You're getting trigger shy. I don't know why. You're making me blush. Just fire out, man. Fire out. I know. I got to. It's early. Yeah. Worked for me last time. That's Sometimes true. you just got to shoot from the hip. Don't need a scope I'm out. buzzing in regardless. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the head down. All right. Mike, where are we going? Let's go uh, back to Dead Presidents 400, please. Dead Prez for foe? At the age of 29, he signed a five-year, $140 million contract, the largest contract for a non-quarterback offensive player ever. 29. Five. Four, three, two, one. No one buzzed in. The correct is answer it Trent is Trent Williams. It is not Trent Williams. It's the receiver, right? It's Devonte Adams. Damn. With the Raiders. Mm. Well, That's, oh, okay. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I was thinking of per year highest ever, but it's just the biggest lump sum ever. Buck forty a year. Yeah. That was dead presidents for four hundred. Okay. Uh, Mike, I believe it's still on you. Yeah, we'll just keep rolling. Six hundred there. Dead presidents for six hundred. At the age of 32, he signed a six-year, $138 million contract, the largest for an offensive. Is it five. Trent Williams? This is Trent Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it. <laughs> wanted to steal it from him. Yeah. Big $600 Damn. for Jamo. Like you deserve that one, you know. Yeah, I'll let you. it slide. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep it rolling, man. Keep it rolling. Age of 30, man. I saw Good the collapse, him, you know I saw the collapse coming when, you, when he threw his name out. I was like, oh, Jamo's going to get shy now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad we're here. That was Dead Presidents for 600 so, where do we go now? Let's clean it. Clean it up. Clean it up the dead presidents. After being selected number one overall, he signed a contract for six years, $78 million, the largest rookie contract in NFL history. <sighs> that was his rookie contract? I feel like I have such a good guess here. Five, four, three, two. Fuck it. He's buzzed in. What is it? Sam Bradford? Sam Bradford wow. is wow. correct. Nick is on the board with eight hundred dollars. I remember nice. him signing that, and I feel like they changed the. They did. They literally the right after that. Like this the next is way year. too fucking expensive. Yeah. Um, now you look at it, it's like twelve million a year for the number one. Yeah, overall right. pick. I forget what Bryce Young got, but Travion Walker the year prior. Trayvon. Trayvon, sorry, he's making like <laughs> half of that. Yeah. Like they significantly changed it. Great poll. Now was I overthinking that each one of those answers had to deal with the president? It was just money. Money. Uh, money. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Wait, how did they? You, yeah, what, was there a what correlation president? to presidents there? So, uh, so I mean, it was Sam like, Adams. So Devontae Adams, you know, John Adams. Keep going. Uh, I, no, I, I was just trying to. That's where I was okay. stuck. No, at. No, I was no, trying no. to think Dead that way. I didn't think it was money. Sure had money. to do with the money. Yeah. Mm, well, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just getting a lot of dead presidents yeah. in your back pocket. But um, no, I got that now. We're we're we're, we're locked now. <laughs> Nick and JMO tied at top with eight hundred. Mike with two hundred. So where do we go now, Nick? Ninety nine problems. Eight hundred. Right. The big 99 question here. He was a pro bowler every year from 97 to 03 and took home the defensive player of the year in 99. Yep. Five. Who is Warren Sapp? Warren Sapp is Hi. correct. Great. Even hit you with the question answer. Yes, he did. I'm, just, just, people, I'm locked. I'm locked. People we're, are going to love that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He pulled a depoy. Yeah. That's we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in Jeez. deep trouble. Do you know like all the depoys? 
no, 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 no. I just oh, so I'm throwing it. We're we're firing. We're firing. I don't think it's all 99. Oh. I think it's going to be different. 99. Maybe days. a 99 overall in there too. There's going to be a Madden something. Yeah. All right, Mike. Where do we go? <laughs> we read you. Don't Let's keep rolling down there. There. 600 for 99 problems. 600 for 99. He is the Defensive Player of the Year award winner and holds the NFL record for most career fumble return touchdowns of six. Five. Who is four, J.J. Watt? Three. It is not J.J. No. Watt. Mm, that's what I was going to ask. Career fumble return touchdowns. Five, four, that's a weird stat. three, two, one. The correct answer is Jason Taylor. Mm, okay. I was just thinking a guy was in the end zone wearing 99 a lot. He, he, he did get into the end zone. Yet, Mike's outthinking your questions. I also think, though, that, that like uh, – J.J. Watt was good for a couple pick sixes. Yeah. Maybe not that's what necessarily I'm, like scoop Taylor scores. was number nine. His defensive player of the year. I'm pretty sure he had like a, a more than one. Yeah, yeah. I'd answer your question. He was number 99. So Mike drops down to 400, Damn. but it's still on you. It's yeah, we'll stay 99 there. problems, 400. 99 for 400. He's the only player in NFL history to have multiple 20 plus five. Four. Was Michael Strahan? Three. Not Michael no, Strahan. Damn. That is incorrect. He's not even 99. I don't know. So why am I four, guessing that? Mm, three. Two. Yep, you buzzed in. Aaron Donald? It's not Aaron Donald. Ugh. Five, four, three. I'm not going to go with it. Two. Correct answer oh, is J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt. This God, is J.J. Damn Watt. Damn. What the hell? You guys are Mike and J.M.O. both lose the answer's a little too early. You're ahead of your time. Yeah, let's we'll finish that one off. All right, let's camp it. He was the 2014 Defensive Rookie of the Year with a stat line of nine sacks, 18 tackles for losses, and 13 QB hits. Five. Is this Aaron Donald? This yeah, is Aaron yeah. Donald. Okay. I push it right when you go. $200 for J.M.O. I felt like it <laughs> So, all those guys were problems wearing the number 99. Yeah. Absolutely. Except for Michael point. Strahan. Definitely not 99. <laughs> <laughs> you were just hoping that he linked to 99 somehow. All right, JMO, where to next? Let's take a friend or foe, 400. I don't remember what this was. Division. Friend or foe, foe, foe. After leading the league in rushing yards, the Philadelphia Eagles, five. LaShawn McCoy? Not LaShawn McCoy. Five, four, oh. three, two. <sighs> Who was it? Oh, fuck. That was that Mike. Was he got five, it. Five, four, three, two. One at a time, five. DeMarco Murray? Yeah. DeMarco yeah, Murray well, That's why he's going to say, but then I, I all of a sudden, no. Mm. Bang. So that was a $400 question. <sighs> Both Mike and JMO lose a little bit of cash. Nick gets the that's win there. That's just unfortunate. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> you love firing LaShawn McCoy from the hip. You do that yeah, at least once just, a trivia. Normally it's right, but. Oh. I just read it too quick. And then I, mi- I reread it, and I was reading <laughs> you Eagles. Yeah, why, why no, I had it, it, and I, I read Eagles again, and, and I was thinking he came from the Eagles. Mm. Not Went going to the Eagles. I Went know with the controversial no guess. <laughs> just sat there. The no guess <laughs> strategy hasn't Doesn't worked in the past. <laughs> but. Don't Bold. think it's working in the future either. Nick, where are we going now? Uh, friend or foe for six. All right, friend or foe, foe six. After tearing his Achilles and being released by the Seahawks, this four-time Pro Bowler signed an incentive-laden five. Richard Sherman. Four. This is Richard Sherman. Yep. That nice. was for six hundred. Incentive. Did I say it wrong? What did I say? It's a good, you put together such a good word there, incentive laid in with the slash and everything, but you, you spelled incentive wrong. It's okay. It is what it be. I'll mm-hmm. take it off the screen. Nobody knows. Choose your battles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll go eight there. All right, we're going to finish out the category. After spending most of the 90s with the Chiefs, he signed with Denver in 97. The six-time Pro Bowler stuck it to the Chiefs by helping the Broncos win back-to-back Super Bowl titles. This is one the comments are going to kill us for. Five, four, three, two, one. I did think this was uh, harder of a question, but this is Neil Smith. Mm. Defensive end, Neil Smith. Of course. I mean, six-time Pro Bowler. Pretty damn good. Wow. How'd you not get that? All right. Where should we start on the last category? Young forever, 600. All right. Weird place to start, but I like it. This player ended his senior season with 14 sacks and finished second in the Heisman voting to Bryce Young in 2021. I don't know who that was. Who was it? Mike got it. Five. Will Anderson? Not Will Anderson. JMO? Aiden Hutchinson? This is Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson. Hutchinson. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That was for 600. So JMO's now at 800. Mike, unfortunately, hits negative grand. It's all right. We're good. We're good. Oh, <laughs> we're not even in double jeopardy yet. Yeah. You're, you're chilling. Yeah, double jeopardy is. I put a you as a favorite, honestly, still. Okay. So this is maybe college themed? Great. That was I think it's a young okay. themed. I think it's a young themed. Yeah. I'll go 200. What do you mean? Bryce Young was in the last question. Oh. Uh. <laughs> young forever for 200. He's ranked second behind Mike. Five. Chase Young. Chase Young is correct. That's Maybe you shouldn't have let him know how this category works. If you didn't works. tell me that, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you guys. That was a, a quick team. We're a team. We're a team here. I didn't know if he was going to be two or four, but I knew he was in. Make it 2,000. All right, where do we go? 400. Young forever for 400. In 1995, five, oh, fuck. four, three, two, the one. The Oakland nope. Raiders. 
Five. What do you or mean? So. I fucking just that said it, it was wrong. When you it, was said wrong. it was wrong either way. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Fucking read the question. There's no shot you read that. You were just buzzing in. Fuck you. I was. I'm allowed to do that. You are. I'm glad you got it wrong. Good. I'm glad I'm winning. What's the score? Let me Shh, take 200. Down. Let's Let me, go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I wonder if it was one of the Bills ones. Correct answer is the San Diego Chargers. Nope. Oh, that. can stand So Humphreys. obvious. Damn it. All right. Last question of the first round. Young forever. 800. The Titans drafted. Five, four, three. Kerry two. Collins. Nope. <laughs> That's Fuck. minus 800 for Nick. God damn it. Five, four, three. Two, one. Is it can I get yeah. off the record? Off the is record. it McNair? It is McNair. Oh, yeah. McNair was the correct answer. So that obvious. is who Vince Young replaced. I thought the 400 question would be Vince Young. Why not? That's why I buzz in so quickly. <laughs> you were just buzzing in hoping that a Vince Young question was there? Yeah, and it was. And then I read well, Vince Young, and I was like, that can't be the answer. <laughs> Probably not. But then I remember we did a trivia where, like, Kerry Collins was their the Titans QB mm-hmm. in, like, 08 or something. Just a horribly played row by me there. I need to dial in. Yeah, getting a little ahead of yourself, getting yeah. feeling a little confident right now. All the now. success I had just went right out the window. I really admire it, though. I really do. I went from trigger shy to just fucking automatic weapons. Just firing for no reason. We got Nick at 800, <laughs> J-Mo at 800, Mike at negative 1,000. So the mindset. Dude, the background's it's, awesome. It's a light. Still it, it's close. nice. All right, we move on to the second round of Jeopardy. The new categories are Brooklyn's Finest, Empire State of Mind, The Story of OJ, and 444. All right. Last per who was the last person to get one correct? You remember? Nick, Probably me, young. but also like seven wrong. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's me. I think. All right, where do we want to start? Empire State of Mind for four hundred. He is currently holding the record for most receptions and receiving yards in a career. Five, four. Is Victor Cruz? Three. Not Victor Cruz. Huh? Nope. Reception. Five. Yep. Five. Brandon Marshall. Not Brandon Marshall. Five, four, three. Receiving two. yards. The correct answer is Odell Beckham. Oh. Mm. Odell okay. Beckham has the most receptions yeah. and yards at MetLife. Yeah. So that was for 400. It was going the wrong way Steve quick. Smith for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, overthinking that one. 200, we're overthinking it. Not even the good Steve Smith. You were going to guess the bad Steve Smith. <laughs> <laughs> it was good for New York for a year or two. That was... Thinking, Marshall, what, thinking at the stadium, it's only half a season, I guess. 3,000 yards just felt like such a low yeah. bar. I'm going to go 1,600 on that category. Yeah, just going to go yeah. straight for First the hard one. First one was so easy that I'm just going to go all the way down the list uh, all right, Empire State of Mind for 1600 His performance at MetLife Stadium earned him the Super Bowl MVP award as he helped lead his team to their five. I fucked up. Four. Eli Manning. Nope. Five, four, oh, I have such three, a guess. two, one. The correct answer is... Was it Justin Tuck or Matthias Kibanuka? No, no, it was uh, it was Malcolm Smith. Yeah, he's saying the Super Bowl was played. Oh, he played at MetLife. Oh, I was trying to remember who played in the Giants. Met life. It gotcha, wasn't gotcha, it gotcha. wasn't a giant Super Bowl no. though. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. My bad. I, ne- I was I trying to remember who played in that game. That. I feel like, like I never know who played where for the Super Bowl. I mean, I wouldn't either. I I think it, it was, was just the fact that it was like their the Seahawks only Super Bowl win. Yeah, but all right, twelve hundo. I gotta I gotta read. All right, Empire State of Mind for 1,200. In week 15 of the 2015 NFL season, he became the only other quarterback besides Eli Manning to throw for five touchdowns at MetLife Stadium. I want to try this five, so bad. four, three. You two. know what? I'm just going to throw it out there. Is, is it Mark Sanchez? It is not Mark Sanchez, no. Oh. Three, two, one. Is it Drew Brees? Not Drew Brees. Okay, no. that was my guess. Uh, the correct answer is Cam Newton. Cam Newton. I don't know if you remember. If you had Cam Newton in 2015, you remember him throwing what? five touchdowns in a fucking oh, fantasy playoff game. Like he's nodding, like, yeah, I'm about to no. go clean this shit up. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought maybe 2015, you're thinking, like, that was Cam's MVP season. Maybe like, that was him. Josh, disappointing. Josh Norman, Odell Beef. Gut would have nailed that one. Just overthinking things here. That was Empire for 12. Let's finish that one. Let's just get it over with. With Empire State of Mind for 800. In 2018, this New York Jets running back ran for 219 yards in the game against the Broncos and to this day is the most rushing yards by any player in a single game at MetLife Stadium. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer was Isaiah Crowell. Mm. Jets running back in 2018. Had a big game. Historically big. Good for him. Yeah, good for the Crow. Very happy for him. (laughs) All right, Empire State of Mind is off the board. Brooklyn's finest 16. Going straight for the hard part of Brooklyn. During his 12 seasons with the Bears, this Brooklyn native led them to four NFL championships in 40, 41, 43, and 46. He also was named the most valuable player in 1943. I want to take a fucking swing at this so bad. Swing. 
five, four. Fuck it. Dick Buckus. Not Dick Buckus. <laughs> yeah. Rest, yeah. rest in peace, Dick Buckus. Just died like yesterday. Not yeah, seriously. Might have put him in here. No. Four, three. Correct answer is Sid Luckman. That's, ins- mm. that's insane. What do you mean? He's <laughs> not pulling that one. It's insane not having Dick Buckus in here. <laughs> I mean, I made this before he died. It wasn't like on my mind. Could have switched it to today. I guess I could have. Why did I do that, JMO? Of such. Uh, that might I'm have been. I'm glad you did. I really am the too. Worst guess of all time. Okay. Well, just take me from first to last, please. No. You're no. 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 We're, we're, you're you're we're clear. You're good still. We are deep in debt with everyone. <laughs> Nick at minus eight hundred. Jamo at minus twelve hundred. Mike at minus twenty six. We need to. Someone needs twenty six so we can play Final Jeopardy. Yeah. I know. Well, I, don't they give you money if you know? Or no, they can send you home. I, I Brooklyn's know, finest so. twelve. I was rereading these questions this morning, thinking, "Damn, this." I tried to make it easier than last time, and I think this is harder. <laughs> I think these are fine, honestly. Yeah. All right, you want to go? That uh, just should have for twelve hundred, Dick. Yeah. Brooklyn's finest for 1,200. This Brooklyn-born defensive end made his first all-pro team with the Denver Broncos at the age of 28, and at 34, continued to perform well for the Raiders in the 83 season, helping them win a Super Bowl. Tony. This has got to be Buckus. <laughs> <laughs> what position did he even play? Linebacker. Okay. So Still I wasn't asking like, about the last and he was, he was a He's a uh, Chicago guy all the way. I feel like you should guess him. Five, four, oh, man. three, two, one. One. This is Lyle Alzado. You guys not who know. You guys don't know Lyle Alzado. Do you these know? Are, yeah. deep, these are deep. These are, are you deep. Serious? Wait, wait, wait. Is Lyle Alzado not known like that? I've never even heard the name before. That was harder than the Sid Luckman one. Really, by far. dude. I, I think you guys I'm, might get roasted in the comments for not knowing who Lyle Alzado. Well, I'm getting roasted regardless. So I'm good. <laughs> He like, there's no. It, he like infamously took steroids at the end of his career and was like he he played along with like Howie Long. No, none. Of, 83, bro. I feel like a Howie Long question might have been more like our speed. I guess <laughs> so. I still would have got wrong. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We, we'd have to run a perfect board in order to not get comments about Jeopardy. That's fair. Doesn't matter. Next. <laughs> That's one I'll like eat a comment on. That's fine. Eight. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get done Eight. with Brooklyn. They got to get easier, right? We got to get out of Brooklyn. <laughs> it has to, be. It has to be easier. Brooklyn's finest for 800. On June 24, 1998, the New York Jets announced the signing of this Brooklyn native quarterback who had. Vinny. Five. Testaverde. Vinny Testaverde nice. is correct. Look at that. How to get easier. So nice to have a correct answer on the board. That was, what, six in a row wrong? More Feels than like that. It. I feel like yeah. we're, we're dating back to the first board at that point. Oof. Vinny, baby. All right, JMO, where do we go? I want to see the rest of Jay-Z. Young Jay-Z. Aesthetics. Brooklyn's finest for 400. Born on August 11, 1996, in Brooklyn, New York, he was a member of the 2015 Ohio State Championship team and was drafted in the second round by the Carolina Panthers. Ted Ginn? Not Ted Ginn. <laughs> Ted Ginn was drafted in like 08. Fuck. Damn, I don't uh, know who this is now. I don't want to work it. What an asshole. Three, two, oh, rip it. Is it five. Curtis Samuel? This be. is Curtis nice. Samuel. Yeah, 2015 I saw Ohio for Ted. State, I saw Carolina. I was like, it's got to be Ted Ginn. I guess they're some similar guys, you know, in that sense. Just the year was wrong, yeah. So JMO gets 400, Fuck. brings him back to first zero. Rounder. Yeah, I think he actually was. I just, it was more of like the Ohio State championship that I remember. He like return. I think they actually might have lost. Didn't he return a kick first play for a touchdown, and then they got fucking swamped? You were correct. I think it was against Tim Tebow. All right, we're out of Brooklyn. It was. It was. It looks so go? pimp. Uh, the story of OJ. For you should 400. dress like that one day. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Doing no deal punishment. <laughs> yeah. Walking Not even around punishment. the streets. It's <laughs> a privilege. Yeah. Which, yeah. which one do you say? Story of OJ four hundred. Story of OJ for four hundred. In 1984, this running back ran for 215 yards on 27 carries against his hometown team of the Oilers to break Simpson's record of most rushing yards. ED, Eric Dickerson? This is Eric Dickerson. Nice. Great pull by Jamo. Extra $400 in the account. Needed. Need to buy that Jay-Z outfit. Hell yeah. All right, where to next? <laughs> he looks funny. I'm going to go 444 four, four for 400. 444 four, four for 400. This tight end put up 144 receiving yards and five touchdowns against the Raiders, scoring 44.4 standard fantasy points, the most by a tight end ever in a single game. It's got to be, right? Five. Travis Kelsey? This is not okay. Travis Kelsey. Five times. Four, three, two, one. This is Kellen Winslow. Dude, that's 400? That was 400, yeah. Island. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, oh, that's a $400 time. question. <laughs> Kellen K. Sr. Putting the part we played against did not help. It made me think of the Chiefs. Right. Okay. Like what, what year was that? You know? Not off the top. I think of the head, year no. would have helped. I mean, yeah, it would have told you that it wasn't Travis Kelsey for sure. But still, it could have been like Tony G, Antonio Gates. Mm. We could have just had a Sharp. different wrong answer. Yeah. yeah. All right. That was for 400. 
Where to next? 800-444-444-800. In 2004, the NFL draft, the Colts spent the 44th overall pick on this all-pro defender. Oh, no. Four, three, (laughs) two, one. Classic no answer from Mike. Five, four, three, two, one. Correct answer is Bob Sanders. Mm. Bob Sanders. I just remember seeing him. Actually, I was watching a video, and I remember seeing his giant mural on the wall. Who's? Bob Sanders at oh. Iowa. Why didn't you guess him then? Because I totally had someone else in my head, and then I saw I heard Defender. Oh, <laughs> Who are you going to guess? Yeah. No, we're good. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JMO. Where to? 444 for 1,600. Skipping over the 12, going for 1,600. In his first four seasons in the NFL, he recorded 44 sacks and was named the Defensive Rookie of the Year in 96 with Arizona Cardinals. Five, four, three, two, one. Correct answer is Simeon Rice. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Hi, Ben. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Knew that. Right on the tip of the tongue. <laughs> All right, JMO. There's just so many 90s and 80s <laughs> defensive <laughs> <laughs> questions. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. tough. Four, four, four. All right, finishing off the category. After his first 11 seasons in the NFL and only making the Pro Bowl <laughs> once, in 1983, he finished fourth in MVP Brother. voting while wearing the number 44. Oh, this is wow. the most oddball wow. shit. No, I've got it. I've got. I, I, I can four, see who it is. Three guess. Two. Give me the team. One. I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get some more time here, real quick. Uh, five, he, he's he's a running four, back, right? Three. Yeah. He's two, uh one. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! No answer. No, I can't think. <laughs> I know who. No I know who it is. I know exactly who it's, it is. I just can't. Correct t- answer is John Riggins. <laughs> oh no! I, I, nope, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not even who you're going for. Nope. John Riggins. John Riggins. Wait, how did we know that was a running back? I had a different running back well, wearing 44 I mean, he's in mine. wearing number 44. Who played I'm like in sure that? Because my yeah. mind, but I was like, like, it's definitely a running back, but I didn't realize why until you said that. I was John defense, Riggins. Defense, I thought that was like player. an iconic number, maybe, mm-hmm. him wearing 44. Maybe not, but back, Mike, in, back in 83 when we were all watching the Just we're going down back. quick. <laughs> <laughs> Comeback season right now. <laughs> Mike. I'm ripping off both of these. I got to get $4,600. <laughs> Jamal had nothing. And Nick what happens if I get the 1200 and we're both at zero? <laughs> we can't wait. Everyone gets anything. back to zero. We call. We're good. <laughs> you know, this game's in shambles. No, this is fire. All right. <laughs> this is where I turn up. All right. We're done with I'm the, do the math real quick here. This is even worse. This is going to be oh. questions about the 70s. I don't even remember what the first OJ question was. It was the Dickerson one. Oh, yeah. Let's and you, ro- you ripped it. <laughs> and you're like, All right, I don't want this category. All right. Let's see Nick's fate. 1200. Nick's fate. Love that. Uh, the story of OJ for 1200. He was teammates with Simpson through high school, college, and the NFL, and was the driver of the white Ford Bronco during the infamous low speed chase. Really? I just thought it was him in the truck. It's a great fun fact. Yeah, I, don't know <laughs> I really had no idea that I was in the car. Was it him? <laughs> he wasn't the driver. Simpson was not driving. I didn't realize he was. Dude, wasn't I feel like alone. I remember yeah. it from the documentary, actually. Yeah. Like, fuck. I didn't watch it. Five, four, three, two, one. This is. Al Cowlings, or AC. But yeah, played with him in high school, USC, and was teammates with him in the Bills. And the driver. It's pretty wild. And, and the getaway driver. the fucking Bronco, yeah. Wow. The more you know. All right, well, looks like uh, right <laughs> I basically just have to get the 1600, or else I lose. Let's do it right now. All right, basically for the game. Story of OJ for 1600. <laughs> in 1986, this franchise started 0-11, <laughs> but won two games late in the season, dropping their pick from 1-3, to three, losing their chance to select OJ Simpson. I guess but it's not worth it. I don't even know. If, uh, you know what? <laughs> F it. Let's just throw out a team here. <laughs> let's go. I. We'll go with the. Please throw out a team. Denver Broncos. <laughs> not the Denver Broncos. <laughs> it's it's got to be like a, a team that was alive at this Five, point. Uh, fuck four, uh, three, two. Have to. The Oakland Raiders. Not the Raiders. No. Five. <laughs> no. Oh, can you, can you lose more money? <laughs> Subtract. <No. laughs> Join right, me, please. Correct, <laughs> correct answer is the Philadelphia Eagles. Dude, I, mm. knew that. I don't even know if I'm going to update it manually. Score here. That was for 1600 Uh <laughs> That's just an embarrassment. You yourself winning with zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the 800 so, yeah. so we can play Final Jeopardy. All right, Nick. It, uh, Final Jeopardy's so going to be man. one of these players like I did. 1942. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do math right now. It doesn't matter. We're so <laughs> me and Mike Whatever. just yeah, Mike got is tossed. so in debt. I'm just putting I'm not Mike, far behind. It's Mike the at comment, negative infinity dollars. <laughs> the comment was, uh, "We should keep records of like who gets the most. It's like low. <laughs> who, who can win with the lowest amount of money? <laughs> you're, you're pretty damn close right now. 
I'm, usually always have like two guys who are super negative, but the other person's usually like at five thousand bucks or something. This is well, not, thank you for not is, showing us up. Yeah, this is not that. I'm sorry, guys. I made this way too hard. Let's go OJ. 800. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you want to play this game? Yeah. Honestly, we, we could run this board back, and I don't think we do any better. <laughs> Finish <Probably not>. <laughs> strong. I don't even know the name of the guy. That, <laughs> the DN that he said. All right. From <laughs> 72 to 75, Simpson finished top five in MVP voting and won the award in 73. The years he did not win, though, he finished behind Ken Stabler, Frank Tarkenton, and this running back. Five. Jim Brown. Nope. I like it, though. I like what the, the guess. <laughs> Jim Brown's way before that. I don't know if he's before. I was going to get Barry Sanders, but I think he's after that. Is it? Know. Yep. Is it sweetness? Not sweetness, right, no. In the 80s? All right. So yeah. Negative, so he loses, <laughs> right. too. No one wins. No final jeopardy. This was Larry Brown. That's what wow. I said. You, I, I thought you said it for a second, and then I was Jim like, and Larry, are, they're interchangeable. No, they're like not. James you stuttered Jim. a little bit. That's all. Larry's all stuck in there. I've stopped keeping track. We're so <laughs> negative. We're winner so take all. Final jet. I actually know it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. I'm this down with is, that. Okay. This is this is winner take all. So everybody gets whiteboard. We're all in this. All right. Nice. We're all in this. Nobody had positive money, so this is how we do it. All right. This was by far the hardest piece of trivia we've ever done. So it's all coming down to this question. You want to play? Or all <laughs> uh, you could win right now. <laughs> Damn. We started off hot in the first board, too. Yeah. Remember when you were just buzzing in without rating anything? Yeah. Thinking oh, I, that didn't was need, fun think I didn't even need those dollars. <laughs> yeah. Fun times. All right. Final Jeopardy. Here's the question. In 2013, Jay-Z started his own sports management company, Rock Nation Sports. Their first major move was signing two prominent players for, from New York-based teams, Yankees infielder Robinson Cano and this NFL player also of Latino descent. Mike seems to know. Mike, you feel confident? I, I think I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it. All right. Well, we'll give everyone their, their full minute to write down their answer. I'm like, I go 80%. I, I, I think I'm in the ballpark with you there. Actually, I'd probably drop it down to like 65. 69. Final answer. Final offer. JMO, you got an answer? I'd, I'd so like a little more time. We all got answers here, so let's reveal them. The correct answer is Victor Cruz. Nick got it right. What did you write? Not Mark Sanchez and Mike. <laughs> got, <laughs> Mike got it right. I guess Mark Sanchez is not a bad guess. Like New York. I was just trying Maybe. to think of someone with a Z in their last name. Oh, I mean that had nothing to do with it. No. Well, that's like usually Latino. Latin descent. Yeah. Oh, sure. I thought you. I thought you were saying because of Jay Z. Oh no! No, no. no. I thought that's bad. how you made the connection. Damn, I went from the win to like now I'm in last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. You agreed to we these. We just rules. robbed you on the street. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the tiebreaker is going to be at the time of 2013, they signed Victor Cruz as their first like prominent NFL player. Who was the second player? What the fuck? The second player signed in 2014, also a wide receiver, not New York, but same division. Okay, I can cross that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Signed with Rock Nation in the end of 2014 with a division rival team. I've got two names in mind, and I, I wrote one down. I wrote, wrote one down. down? I'm trying to figure out which one to circle. Are they Latino? No. Mm. No. Mm. I was asking Tony. I got a good another tiebreaker. Oh, man. Either which one you guys go with? Best of three, right? Since we're in it's one of these two for sure. Just tell me which. Just like I'm not going to change my answer. Show me. Shit. Oh. I'm getting a pull towards both players right now. Top or they bottom? They both give vibes, man. I, I, top I, or bottom? Top. All right. All right. Correct answer is Des Bryant. Fuck. Nick circled the wrong one. Mike got the right one. Jamo led me astray, you <laughs> motherfucker. I had it. Let's go. <laughs> somehow wins this game off of being. I don't even know how far in the negatives you were because I stopped writing. Don't matter. Down. Don't matter. All that matters is the final score. It just ma matters with final jeopardy. Sorry for that one, guys. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not had, sorry at all. I had fun. All right. I, I had the same name. Fun. Though. That's what's important. It's also important to like and subscribe so we can keep doing these horrendously hard trivia's. We'll be back for some more. That's it. These horrendously horrendous trivia. Yep. W.